Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to generate CV using Google Forms and Google Docs. So I am an owner of a placement agency and I want to create resumes that is CV for all of my students who are enrolled in my agency. And to collect the data of all of my students, I have created a form with the help of Google Forms. So my objective is that, that as soon as a new form submission is going to be done by any of my students with the help of Google Forms so that I can collect the data for creating their resume automatically when the form submission is done I want to create a CV that is a resume for my student using Google Docs and how we're going to create the CV for that I've already created a template for resume in my Google Docs for that what we are going to do is we're going to simply create an automation between Google Forms and Google Docs using Pabli Connect Pabli Connect runs on two concepts that is trigger an action in this process my trigger application is going to be Google Forms and my action application is going to be Google Google Docs. So if you want to learn how to do this amazing automation, then let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to generate CV from Google Forms and Google Docs. So I am an owner of a business in which I help my students to get placed in different companies. And I want to create CV that is resume for all of my students who are enrolled in my organization. So my objective is that it, as soon as any of my students are going to fill the form that I've created with the help of Google Forms to receive the details of their resume. So automatically with the help of those details, I want to create a resume for that student and save it in my Google Drive folder. So for that, what we are going to do is we are going to simply create an automation between Google Forms and Google Docs with the help of Pabli Connect. So on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign into our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign into my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see the five applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on Access Now. So on the screen, you can see then Pabli Connect dashboard is going to appear. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. Then a new dialog box is going to appear, which is asking for a workflow name. So I'm going to give a name to my workflow as generate CV using Google Forms and Google Docs. Okay. After giving a name to our workflow, it is asking for us to select a folder. On the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, click on this drop down arrow and from these folders, I'm going to select Google Forms Automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving a name to our workflow and selecting the folder, let's click on create in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of Generate CV using Google Forms and Google Docs and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says Trigger, other says Action. Trigger and Action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here Trigger says when this happens and Action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. Firstly, what we are going to do is we are going to set up our trigger step for the click on this arrow right over here. And for the trigger application, what we are going to do is we we're going to select it as Google Forms. So we're going to select our trigger application as Google Forms. And for the trigger event, we're going to select it as new response received. We're selecting our trigger application as Google Forms and the trigger event as new response received because we want that. So I've created a form with the help of Google Forms. So as you can see, this is the form that I've created. So I want that if any of my students for whom I want to create a resume of fills this form right over here, automatically Pabli Connect should capture the response of that form submission. For that, what we are going to do is we could simply create a connection between Google Forms and Pabli Connect with the help of this webhook URL that Pabli Connect has provided us by following the steps given here below we can connect google forms to public connect so firstly i'm going to copy this url from here after copying the url you have to open the form that you have created so this is the form that i've created in the name of resume details form okay so this is the form right over here and we're going to connect this form to public connect for that click on responses right over here as soon as you click on responses over here it says link to sheets we're going to click on it a new dialog box is going to appear on which it is asking us to select destination for responses either you can create a new spreadsheet or you can select the existing spreadsheet so i'm going to create a new spreadsheet by clicking this option and then click on create right over here. 
So as you can see right over here, a spreadsheet is created. And what will happen is that whenever a new response is going to be captured with the help of the swarm, or whenever a new form submission is going to be done with the help of the swarm right over here, automatically all the response of the form submission is going to be recorded in the spreadsheet right over here. So what we are going to do is we are going to connect this spreadsheet to Public Connect so that whenever a new response is going to be captured in the spreadsheet, automatically it is going to send the response to Public Connect. Okay? So we are going to connect this spreadsheet right over here to Public Connect. For that, click on Extensions over here. As soon as we going to do that, over here it says add-ons, we're going to click on it and then over here it says get add-ons, we're going to click on it. A new window is then going to appear on which on the search bar we have to search for Pabli Connect Webbooks. We're going to click on Pabli Connect Webbooks. Over here it says Pabli Connect Webbooks, we're going to open it and as you can see that Pabli Connect Webbooks is already installed. So if you have not installed Pabli Connect Webbooks, so please do install it so you can connect Pabli Connect to the spreadsheet right over here. So as I've already installed, I'm going to click on Extensions again. As you can click on Extensions over here it says Pabli Connect Webbooks, you have to click on it. And as soon as you get to do that over here it says Initial Setup, we're going to select Initial Setup right over here. As you're going to do that, initial setup dialog box is going to appear, which is asking for a webbook URL and the trigger column. For the webbook URL over here, we're going to paste the webbook URL that Public Connect has provided us, okay? And for the trigger column over here, we're going to over here it says the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added in this spreadsheet right over here. My trigger column is column AC right over here. So I'm going to select my trigger column as AC and then I'm going to click on submit right over here. As you can see that over here it says setup configured successfully and I'm going to go back and the steps which I'm going to tell you right now are very important. Firstly for the trigger column I'm going to show you. As you can see this is the final data column on which if the data the last data is going to be added as you can see there is no columns after this right over here. So this is my trigger column that is why for the trigger column selected as AC okay. So now the steps which I'm going to tell you are very important so please do not forget to follow them. Click on extensions again and public connect webbooks. Over here on the second option it says send on event we're going to select it and over here it says working. As now the loading is completed, I'm going to open extensions and public in it webbooks again. You can see a tick mark is in front of send on event. It is very important to click on send on event because whenever a new response is going to be captured in the spreadsheet right over here, it is going to send the new response to public in it. Okay. So if I'm going to open my workflow right over here, it is saying waiting for webbook response. So now what we are going to do is we are going to do a test submission of the form that we have created with the help of Google Forms and we're going to check whether public in it captures the response of that test submission or not. For that, I'm going to open my form that I've created. This is my form that I've created and to do a test submission we have to click on this preview button right over here as you can see that this is for the form that I've created right over here and it is asking for some details right over here. First section is the personal information section. Firstly it is asking for the name of my student. For the name of my student over here I'm going to write it as demo smart. So this is the dummy name of my student that is demo smart. For the email over here I'm going to write it as demo smart at the rate publicutes.com okay. For the phone number over here I'm going to write in a dummy mobile number. For the address over here, I'm going to write in a dummy address. For the address I've written is as 123 Modern Street. It is next asking for a PIN code. For a PIN code over here, I'm going to write in a dummy PIN code, okay? Next, it is asking for the city. For the city over here, I'm going to write it as Bhopal. So I'm going to write the city as Bhopal. And then for the state, I'm going to write it as Madhya Pradesh, okay? So these are the personal information details right over here. So I'm going to click on next. Next over here it is asking for the educational details right over here. Firstly it is asking for the name of the high school. For the school name over here I am going to write it as ABC International School Bhopal. So for the school I have written it as ABC International School Bhopal. Next it is asking for the year of high school graduation. For the year of high school graduation I am going to write it as 2007 to 2022. This, these are the year of graduations in my high school. For the graduation percentage over here, I'm going to write it as 96%. Okay. Next over here, it is asking for the university or the college name. For the university slash college name, I'm going to write it as XYZ University Indoor. So this is the university name right over here. For the field subject, that is the subject that I've done the graduation in, that I'm doing the graduation in. For the subject over here, I'm going to write it as Bachelor of Business Administration. This is the field of study that I, that my student is doing right over here. For the month and year of graduation, I'm going to write it as May 2024. Okay, so after filling these details, I'm going to click on next. Next over here, it is asking for the skills, any six unique skills about you. For the skills over here, I'm going to write six skills over here as 
for the skills over here i've written six skills that is communication skills one for the skill one for the skill two as team management skill three as analytical thinking for the skill four as organizational skills for the skill five as programming languages that is python java and c plus plus and last sixth skill as digital marketing okay after that i'm going to click on next next over here it is asking for the work experience over here for the work experience over here we are going to write it as for the previous job position as customer success associate previous company name as Fintrix year of job experience as 2022 to 2024 over here for the previous job role description as a customer success associate plays a crucial role in ensuring customers achieve their desired outcomes while using companies products and services point one onboarding new customers point two customer support point three relationship building and point four as customer retention after filling all the details i'm going to click on next after that in this form it is asking for achievements we have to write any four achievements of ours for the achievements over here i'm going to write it as for the achievements over here i've written over here four achievements achievement one as team collaboration award achievement two as customer service excellence achievement three as academic excellence and achievement four as effective time management and then i'm going to click on next lastly over here it is asking for the summary of the profile that is going to describe my student for the summary over here i'm going to write it as for the summary over here i've written a small summary as you can see right over here to describe my student so after that i'm going to click on submit to do a form submission as you can see that where it says your response has been recorded so this means that a new form submission is done if i'm going to open my spreadsheet that is directly into the form right over here you can see over here a response is captured in my spreadsheet as you can see right over here with the details of the form submission that is done by my student in the spreadsheet right over here so now i'm going to open my public init and i'm going to check whether public init has captured the response of the new form submission or not for that i'm going to open a public init account i'm going to scroll down and yes as you can see right over here a new response is captured in our public init account if you're going to tally the response over here for the name it says demo smart okay for the phone number over here, you can see a dummy mobile number is there for the email as demo smart at the rate publitudes.com for, for the field of study as bba that is bachelor of business administration high school name as abc international school high school percentage as 96 percent for the month and year of graduation as may 2024 pin code as 46 2002 company as fintrix and all the other details so this means that we fully connected google forms with public connect and a trigger setup is done as our objective is that that as soon as a new form submission is going to be done with the help of the form submission i want to create the resume of my student for that what we are going to do is we're going to add our action step and for the action application over here we are going to select it as google docs so we're going to select our action application as google docs and for the action event over here we are going to select it as create document from template we are selecting our action application as google docs and the action event has create document from template because i have created a resume template with the help of google docs to prepare resumes for my students okay so with the help of this template i will be preparing resume for my students and in, in this template you can see right over here these are the values in front and in the end of these values you can see there are two curly brackets this is because these are variables right over here and i want to add the values in place of these variables of my students right over here that is why i've created these variables in my template right over here so now what we are going to do is we are going to create a document that is a resume that is cv with the help of this template right over here that is for the action application and the action event we have taken it as google docs and create document from template and then we're going to click on connect in order to connect google docs to publicly connect a new window is going to appear on which click on add new connection but if you want you can select the existing connection then click on sign in with google as soon as you click on sign in with google a new dialog box is going to appear which is asking for a permission i'm going to click on allow as save process and my data is perfectly saved with public edit so i'm going to click on allow right over here as you can see that we successfully authorized google docs to public connect after authorizing over here it is asking for us to select the template documents so i've created a template in the name of resume template as you can see right over here so the template document over here, i'm going to select it as re resume template right over here as soon as you go to select the template document over here next it is asking for the new documents name with the help of this template with the documents are going to be created and we have to give the names to all of our documents for that what we are going to do is i want the new documents name should start with my students name so what we are going to do is we are going to map the data mapping means inserting data from the previous step so we are going to insert the data from the previous step of this automation workflow as soon as you click on this field right over here it says google form new response received and this was the previous step of this automation workflow if you go to click on this arrow this was the same response that was captured in our previous step over here first as i want the name of my student as the document's name so i'm going to map the data of the name of my student that is right over here as 
as i map the data right away what happens is the data has now become dynamic that means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step automatically in place of this map data the new data is going to be updated and next to name of my student i want to write it as resume okay so this is the name of my new documents whenever a new document is going to be created firstly the name of my student is going to be the name of my document and then resume okay next over here it is asking for the new documents location whenever a new document is going to be created with the help of this template right over here where it is going to be saved so i've created a folder in my google drive account as you can see the name of resume is right over here so that whenever a new document is going to be created with the help of the template in our google docs automatically all those documents should be saved in this folder right over here so for the location over here i'm going to select it as resumes next it is asking for the name school name high school years high school percentage field of study so as i've already told you that i've created variables so these are the variables over here that i've created okay so we are going to fill in all the details firstly it is asking for the name so we are going to map the data of the name of our student right over here so i'm going to map the data next it is asking for the school name we're going to map the data of the school name as well this is my school name i'm going to map it next it is asking for high school years for the high school years over here i'm going to write it as this is a high school graduation year this is right over here next it is asking for the high school percentage so we are going to map the data of the percentage right over here for the field of study we are going to map the data of the field of study right over here for the college name over here i'm going to map the data of my college of the college name of our students college name right over here for the college years we are going to map the data of the college years that is uh, the month and the year of graduation right over here okay it is asking for the skills so we are going to map the data of the skills that we have received in our previous response skill 1 over here i'm going to map the skill 1 for the skill 2 i'm going to map the data of the skill 2 right over here for the skill 3 i'm going to map the data of my skill 3 right over here Similarly for the skill 4 I'm going to do the same thing. For the skill 5 I'm going to map the data of my skill 5 and for the skill 6 I'm going to map the data of the skill 6, okay? Next it is asking for the email. For the email we're going to map the data of the email of our student, so I'm going to map the data. For the phone number I'm going to map the data in a similar manner. I'm going to map the data. For the address, we are going to map the data of the address that we have received. This is the address. Then I'm going to put a comma space. Next to address, we want the name of the city. So I'm going to map the data of the city. Comma space. Then I want the data for the state. Comma and lastly, I want the pin code. So I'm going to map the data of the pin code that we have received. So this is the address right over here. Okay. For the profile summary, we are going to map the data of the summary that we have received. We're going to map this data. Next, it is asking for the previous job position. So I'm going to map the data of the previous job position. For the previous company name, so I'm going to map the data of the company name. For the experience, job experience over here, I'm going to map the data. For the previous job role, I'm going to map the data, the description. So this is the description, I'm going to map it. And the, then the achievements, I'm going to map the data of all my achievements. So I'm going to map the data for the achievement, achievement one. Then for the achievement 2, similarly for the achievement 3 and lastly for the achievement 4. After filling all the details, I'm going to click on save and send test request. As you can click on save and send test request, over here response is going to be received and this is a positive response because in this we have also received a document ID and this is the ID of the new document that is going to be created. So I'm going to open my Google Drive folder and yes, as you can see right over here, a new document is created. I'm going to open this document right over here. So this is the document in the name of Demo Smart Resume. This is the Demo Smart Resume right over here with the detail of all the things that we have mapped in our workflow right over here. For the educational, the educational details, for the skills over here, the six skills, for the contact over here, the contact details, profile, the summary profile, the work experience details and the achievements right over here. So this means that we fully created an automation between Google Form and Google Docs with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done, I wanted to generate CV using Google Forms and Google Docs. For, I, for that, I've created this amazing automation between these two applications with Pabli Connect so that whenever a new response is going to be submitted by any of my students with the help of Google Forms, automatically with the help of the response, a new resume that is a CV is going to be created in our Google Docs. For that, we simply created an automation between these two applications with Pabli Connect. So if you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment on below if you have any questions or doubts and please share this video. 
Not just with these applications, you can create automation with the help of Fably Connect between multiple applications. If you have any doubts, you can send us the email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask your queries on forum.pabli.com. If you have any queries regarding the pricing of Pabli Connect, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts, and please share this video. And thank you for watching.